This is Henry Oka, the man accused of planning multiple bomb attacks in Abuja, Nigeria on Independence Day in 2010. He's been brought to this court in Johannesburg, South Africa, charged with 14 counts of terrorism. His trial is being heard here and not in Nigeria because the South African authorities say Oka conceived and planned the attack from his home in Johannesburg. This is what he's accused of doing. It's been two years to the day that a number of explosions in Abuja killed 12 people and injured dozens more. One million. Back in court, a state representative read out the charges to Oka. He denied them all. In the past, Oka has publicly made clear where he stands. He's the leader of Nigeria's movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta. The group wants a greater share of the oil wealth for people living in oil-producing regions. Oka has said his group is willing to launch attacks against the government if its demand isn't met. Speaking to Al Jazeera almost a year before the attacks, Oka said this. Threat is real, you know, and, uh, and uh, I think you know, in a few months, if the government doesn't start addressing the real demands of the people of Niger Delta, the government doesn't start speaking to the right people and addressing the real problems, there will be a resumption in violence very soon. Oka has been held without trial for two years. He says he's being held to stop him from going public with evidence of high-level government corruption, charges the authorities deny. The trial of Henry Oka is expected to last for weeks. If found guilty, he could spend up to 10 years in prison. If found not guilty, it could be a political embarrassment for the governments of Nigeria and South Africa. Ivan Dege, Al Jazeera.